So currently at the zoo we have three Siamang, two of which are on display. We've got these two behind me here. Well, one of them just head off to our other island. So this is our male and female pair. Uh, they are a mated pair. They are in their 30s now. So Pateri is the one that you can see sitting behind me here. She is our female. She's 34 years old. Her partner Sadara, who looks like he might be coming back, uh, but he's 32, so just a couple of years younger than her. Uh, these guys, like I said, are a breeding pair. They've had five babies together, and we currently still have the youngest offspring here at the zoo. His name is Lima. He's at the age now where it's time to leave mum and dad, which he's already done. We're just holding him here until he'll move off to another zoo to continue our breeding program for the region. So we have started doing a lot of training with our Siamangs. This is going to be really important. Uh, in their 30s, they are getting on. So they are older animals. So doing this kind of training is going to allow us to examine them. We can do vet checks. We can get up close to them, examine their nails, hopefully get in them to open their mouth. We can check their teeth. It's a really non-invasive way to be able to do all these health checkups for them. It's part of their daily routine and it's stress-free for them and of course for the keepers as well involved. Boy. Hand. Good. Um, look, it is a pretty easy process in the end. Obviously, Siamang being primates or lesser apes, these guys are really, really clever. So they do a lot of the work already. Uh, the first thing we do is we're going to start introducing them to the food they like the best. What food we're going to use in training is obviously going to be ones that they like the best. So for these guys, we'll use juice, watered down juice and a syringe. We might use banana, maybe some nuts, all those kind of things. They're pretty happy to work with their yummy food. Um, and then from there, we'll introduce a bridge. So the bridge is kind of like a noise we will make to let these guys know that they've done the right thing. So these both have different bridges. Our female, I'm using a whistle for her. So when she does what I want her to do, I whistle and then she gets, she knows she's done the right job and then she gets a reward. And for our male, I'm actually using a clicker. So they both have different, we do do their training sessions directly next to each other. So that's just to stop any confusion. I, and from there, it's just about working with them. So trying to capture those behaviors, things that we're after, we might try and manipulate them and move them into different positions that we want. If we need to access their shoulder or their hand, it can take a little while, but luckily, as I said, they're clever. Once they know what training's about, they tend to pick up on new behaviors really quickly. So training for this species here at the zoo, it's actually a newer thing for us. We've only recently had a facility that they can come into and interact quite closely with the keepers. Uh, their son, Lima, he was the first Siamang that we started training here at the zoo. After we removed him off the island, he was in the perfect facility, which allowed us to get up nice and close to him and start that training. So he's essentially a lot a well ahead of these two, I guess. We have a whole range of behaviors for him. So he can present both his hands to us so we can check his hands, check his fingernails, make sure they're not getting too long. He'll present his feet. He'll open his mouth for us so we can check his teeth. And we can even do things like have him turn his back and that would be helpful if we ever need to put a stethoscope up to his back and listen to his heartbeat. So all that kind of thing has gone a really long way just to make sure we're giving him the best care possible. Foot, in his foot. Good. You turn. Nice work. Good boy. Well done. Stand. Good boy. Well done. Good. Stand. Good. Finished.